Hey guys, it's me, Bolly on, and today I'm going to show you how to make your comfort wheel quiet. Now, these hacks work with both of these wheels. This wheel is the living wood brand of the comfort wheel, so this is different, and the design on the wheel is different, as you can see, except they're the exact same wheel, they're just as loud. And then here's my comfort wheel. Here's the design on it. I totally broke this wheel because there's no spindle in the middle, but... The stand looks like this. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this wheel quiet. Both of these wheels more quiet because comfort wheels, if you don't know, they're pretty loud. They're, um, like you get what you pay for. Like if you would, you like, like if you're willing to spend more money on a wheel, then you, you might be able to get a Carolina Storm Express wheel. Or you could get a rodent wheel, which I have inside my hamster cage right now. But... If you're too cheap for that, like me, because I actually got the rodent wheel from a friend, so, hey. But, what you're gonna need, is you're gonna need some olive oil, but I'm using that vegetable oil, but you're gonna need just a little bit of oil, like, not even, like, this much. You're gonna need some of this packing tape, um, paper towels are optional, um, and you're gonna need some scissors, and hair elastics, like these. This one is kind of thick, so don't use the, these kinds. Use, like, ones like these. Like, these kinds. Like, kinds like these. You could use rubber bands, too, but this is all I had, and they work just as well. So, I'm just going to show you an example with this one. So, first of all, you just want to take the wheel off. They come off very easily. And then you want to get your hair elastic. So... Like, my wheel without the hair elastic, it rattles a lot. So I'm just going to put it back in. You can try to get it back in. So, here's the wheel. It rattles a lot from side to side. So this is what it is. See that? It rattles from there. And that's what we're trying to stop. So, take your wheel off. And you'll get your hair elastic. I'm using, you can use the thin kind or the thick kind. Both work just as well. You can exp experiment with yourselves. So here's my hair elastic. You can use a rubber band too. And then you just want to, so I'm, so here's a little thing that you see when you put the wheel on. Then it's thin and then there's a little nick here. So this is like the snap lock thing. So you don't want to cover that right there or else the wheel won't snap and then it won't lock properly, then it can just come off. So make sure not to cover that. I'll show you what I mean in a second. It's really hard to do this with one hand. So if you have too much, just wrap it around the end here. This can even go around again. Just want to wrap it that around. Then here's what it looks like. And you want to get your wheel. And you, you want to make sure that you hear that snap lock. And then it's not as rattly. Some, like, th this won't work but with all wheels. You just have to get that rubber band. Like that. This won't work with all wheels, it's not a definite hack, it might just work with, with some wheels. For, um, for an example, on this other stand, I used a thick elastic, and then you guys can see how that works. Get that stand out of here, okay. And it still snaps, I think. No, it doesn't snap. No, it does. And then, I think I actually prefer the other one better, but it really depends on your wheel. So if that doesn't work for you, then you could try the second hack, or you could try both. So by the way, you're going to need the vegetable oil and the packing tape. So what you want to do first is you want to get your wheel stand, or you want to get this piece. So you want to get your packing tape. I have a handy thing, so I know where the end is. So you just want to, I'm just going to put this over here, yeah, so you can see what I'm doing. So then here's the packing tape. So you want to get this, so then you want to... Just get a little bit of your packing tape. And then since the end is really, really ragged, I'm just going to trim that. And then here's the piece that comes in handy. So you want to get your spindle. 
I call it the spindle. And then you want to wrap it as close to the notch over here as you can. Except not over it, just as close to it as you can. And you just want to wrap it all the way around. And don't go, like, don't over wrap it twice. Just do one wrap. So don't do this. Do, you'll just want to do one wrap like this. Like, like no cape what, whatsoever. Because if you add more than one wrap, then the wheel won't, won't fit on, which sucks. So then... Once your tape is all around the spindle, just like this, you want to just get a little bit of your uh, of your oil right here. I'm just using the, the vegetable oil. And what I do is I just pull a, li a little bit on a paper towel because I don't want oil all over my hands. It's pretty sticky, you know. Oil. And you just want to pull a little drop on, on your paper towel. And then you just want to rub it all over the tape. Then once that's good, you can put your wheel on and try it out. Now my com comfort wheel is broken. As you can see, the spindle came off, so that's why I'm not using it at the moment. So you just want to put your wheel on. That's, I can hear a difference for me. You guys might not be able to because the camera doesn't pick up on it. But I'll say this hack works. So that's two comfort wheel hacks to make your wheel more quieter. I hope you guys enjoyed this video.